Yo, what's up? Just wanted to do a quick walkthrough of my Green Room 136 bootstrap. Uh, obviously, this is a messenger bag, <clears throat> and um, I've been using it lately. I actually ordered it last year. Um, haven't really used it much just because I've been preferring backpacks uh, when, I'm, when I'm using bags. So this has kind of been sitting, but I've been using this the last couple days. And I realize there's not a lot of information out there about this specific model, so I just thought I would share. Um, <clears throat> so again, this is a, a Green Room 136 bootstrap messenger bag. It comes in three um, sizes, I think, small, medium, and large. This is the medium. Um, so I don't really know what volume that is, to be honest with you, but uh, yeah, here it is. Um, I, uh, so there's a couple different ways to order this thing. Uh, they make them kind of, um, I guess out of the box and you can order them in different materials, whatever, whatever they have on hand, or they can, um, do something called wild card, which basically means that you can spec a lot of things about the bag to your own preferences. So that's what this one is. Um, so I don't really remember what all the things are. There's a card here that maybe you could look at <clears throat> if you wanted to. Uh, I know that, let, let's see actually what this says. The, the, this panel here is uh, was an option that I opted for. I know the fid locks were um, the, the VX material itself, I believe. Um, what else? You know, I'm not really sure, so I'm just going to skip that part. <clears throat> I don't want to get it wrong, but just go to the website, greenroom136.com uh, and backslash custom, and you can take a look for yourself. There's a bunch of different bags that you can do this with. Um, so, yeah. So, here it is. Um, kind of walk you through it. It's kind of dirty down here. It's probably also wet because I just walked through my yard from my office to my house to come take this video and it's pouring rain right now um here it is it's got this kind of spacer mesh on the back there's a hidden pocket here that goes behind that i think that might have been actually one of the options you have to check for yourself there's a carry handle here uh i don't really love it just because it <clears throat> kind of does this weird it's not centered so I kind of prefer them up here, but I think the actual reason it's there is because one of the other options this thing has is top access right here. So you can get into the bag without opening the flap from right here. The inside is this yellowish color um, that you cannot uh, choose options for. It just kind of is what it is. I think whenever they do this black VX42, they use this kind of um, yellow interior. So close that for now um other options are that it oh it has straps here on the bottom that you could strap a jacket to or something i believe you could choose not to have those as well which obviously i did uh it also has a an additional strap another fid lock strap that uh, if, you, if you use messengers you, you're familiar with this probably where you have the regular strap, which by the way, has this kind of padded thing on it. And I think there was options too for which kind of strap you chose. I don't remember, you're gonna have to check it out. But you can you can add this, I call it like a stabilizer strap, um, which connects to the bag to here. So it really kind of locks it into your body. So I find that useful if, I don't know, you're in the city running to a train with a messenger on your back or something like that, and it doesn't flop around as much. You can also get these options, optional um, pouches that uh, this, I guess, is kind of for a, you know, a water bottle or, or what have you. This is made by them. Pretty cheap. In fact, everything from them is, they're made in, is it Malaysia? I don't remember. You have to look it up. But um, it makes it easy to strap a um, one of their pouches or something else to the side. So you could do that. I haven't really been using that, but just know that it's an option. Um, so I guess I can jump into it now. Um, I think we talked about mostly everything on the outside. So again, I opted for Fidlocks, uh, sliders, Fidlock sliders. I don't, um, know what the other options were, so you have to check that out. Opens like that. 
<coughs> excuse me. So there's, uh, yeah, this, that's, that's kind of what I like about messengers is that you can wear them and just kind of flip them around to the front of you and get access to the bag while you're moving. Um, usually I'm walking a lot wherever I am and don't necessarily want to stop to access my things. And so this is a great way to do that. Also, I find that if you're riding a train or something like that, where you're kind of crammed in a seat, being able to just not take it off, slide it around in front of you and fit it onto your lap while it's still kind of retained over your shoulders, maybe you need to loosen the strap a little bit, is a pretty great setup too. And then you kind of have your own um, like work area, if you will, on top of the bag in front of you or access to your bag. So that's why I love these things. I'm, I was actually originally a messenger bag person before um, I started getting into like EDC backpacks and things like that. They each have their place as far as I'm concerned. So this is how it opens. Um, take a look in here. There's kind of this, uh, first there's this front area that has another flat access to these pockets here. Um, they're, they have some volume to them. You can see they kind of open up here. I have a, just a notebook in there. This is like a field notes notebook with a pen. Um, what do I have in here? Lens cleaners. You could fit thicker things in there if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, you can't get to that while it's closed. So just know that you'd need to either leave the flap like this and be able to get in and open up another one. It's not, it's not really, I wouldn't call it quick access, but it's there. And then on the inside, uh, this is the inside of that zipper that I was talking about that lets you access while the bag's closed. Um, let me take some things out here. There's a, a Prometheus Design Works pouch, headphones, over ear headphones. Um, it does fit a cap two pretty well. So there's a cap two in here. IPad, uh, iPad and Magic Keyboard 11 inch. And there's a laptop in here. There's actually a 14 inch MacBook Pro. I was mistakenly calling it a 13 inch. It's owned by my company. So honestly, I didn't really pay that close attention, but this is a 14 inch MacBook Pro. In one of my other videos, I was calling it a 13 when I was trying to fit it in a tad axiom. So that is a little bit bigger, but anyway. So, and then I've got sunglasses. I've got Apparently more field notes that I didn't realize were in there. A pouch. Another pouch, like a flat pouch. I think that's it. Oh, and then a laptop stand that folds up. So what you've got in here, and I remember there was some optionality going on in here too. I think you can opt to have this laptop um, dedicated area attached to the bag or not have it at all or maybe there are some other options i obviously opted to have it attached um, so it is sewn into the bag so there's space back here there's space that's padded on either side for your laptop and you could i definitely have thrown both my laptop and my ipad in there so that works um, it's got padded it's got a retaining strap there's a pocket next to it that only has, I guess, padding on one side. Um, and then that whole thing can be strapped in. I don't really use these. I just kind of <clears throat> move them off out of the way. In fact, if there was an option to not have this, I probably would have done that. Um, and then there's this bigger area in the front with also a zippered pocket in there. Um, this is where, like, the most volume is. This is where I put the cap two and the this other pouch and the headphones. Um, it's not huge, but it fits that stuff really well and it could fit more. So then there's also this, uh, like there's this thing, <laughs> which I guess just offers extra protection um, for what's in there. You can see it. I don't really know. It's a little weird that it kind of is there. <laughs> um, I guess it's considered to help give, give it some more weather protection, but I mention that because you also have access to these other three areas um, that are that are in front of it 
in between kind of the exterior of the bag and this liner thing. So that's where I had some stuff sitting in there. Um, that's where I had, you know, these are skinnier on the sides. I had these pouches that I always carry. Um, I'm not really sure what else. Oh, maybe headphones were in there. I'm not, I don't remember. Obviously, I'm not like super dedicated spaces yet for this thing because uh, I've only really started using it. I just got tired of seeing it sit in my office and not get used, so I've been carrying it. So I'm going to put everything back. everything back in there put that there put that there that top stand headphones close this close that you can decide to attach these or not. Um, sometimes I don't even do this attachment just so I can get into the bag easier. But for this, I'll close them up. Um, and that's it. Good to go. So again, I'll show you this kind of the what they send you that has all the different options for this bag. Again, you can do that all online, but I just don't remember what they are, so I'm showing them to you. I have one comparison. This is the Coda Bell Apex Liner Max, I think is what it's called. Um, this is the one that opens, I'm not gonna go super into this, but this is the one that opens up and kind of gives you this <laughs> privacy space uh, for your laptop, so you kind of sit your laptop in here with it on your lap and work off of it. Um, this is my only other kind of real messenger other than some old Timbuktu bags that I have around. Um, this is for sale actually, so I just don't... I'm not using this one, and I'll probably use this one more than this one if I use either at all. So, just for a size comparison, I'm giving you that. So, not as big, definitely thinner. Um, so this is definitely a lighter carry, just more probably your computer um, and limited amount of stuff, although it does expand, but more on that later. I just kind of wanted to give a comparison. So that's it. Green Room 136 Bootstrap. See ya.